This is Star Talk. <laughs> so did you did you put graffiti on this kid's shirt? <laughs> Listen, I couldn't stand it. He was standing there looking all proud. <laughs> about that. So he Man. said, Pluto, never forget. I said, Pluto, forget. <laughs> you you let this guy mess up your shirt. That's right. Just because he's got more degrees in the month of July. <laughs> and you don't even have a, like a grade school degree yet. You just yielded to him. Yeah. He told you to be curious, to be, to be defiant in your search for the truth. And you just surrendered to his truth. I, I bet he's in middle school because he's wearing braces. What's he's grade anyway? Seven. Yeah, that's middle school. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You, gotta, you gotta take cues. You know, what's going he's on. trying to do his Sherlock Holmes thing here. <laughs> no one, no one who takes you five. He looks has at braces. you and just dresses you down completely. I got the whole thing. I got your back, man. <laughs> I am your senator. I will represent you, you in this in fight. New York. Oh! <laughs> Forget you. No! <laughs> Where in New York are you from? Um, I'm from Queens. From Queens? You came all the way here for this? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> you said it like, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> but okay. Okay, so I expect you to, to be on your best behavior while you're in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> if you malign my state, I will come after you. Yeah. I will you follow go. you over the river. I don't you care. Can, no, he stops at the river. Line. He doesn't cross the river. He'll stop right <laughs> at the river. You can count on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken there like a go. true New Yorker. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just like the fights I get him with Schumer on the Senate floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remind him that when he goes around telling people it's the New York Giants. It's not the New York Giants. It is New Jersey Giants. There you go. Where do they play? Yeah, yeah. Can I get a little love here, sir? A little love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Senator Hanging. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there, is there, oh, you guys all, are you New Yorkers? Jersey. Thank you. God. Thank God. Where town are you from? Garfield. Garfield is a great town. Actually, I don't know if Garfield was named after Garfield. Well, do we, do you guys know that? Andrew I'm, Garfield? I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> <laughs> if the cat was named after the president? <laughs> Spider-Man. If the town was named after the president. Oh, okay. I'd actually, I should know that. I'm going to look that up and search the internet with all truth that is there. <laughs> but some presidents don't, you know, they just, history just steps over them. They, they like do. Millard Fillmore, just, you know. Rough. Yeah, who who was Millard Fillmore? It's just it's just it's just rough. I, you know, it's just like <laughs> certain presidents are maligned. Yeah, you yeah. Know. yeah. No, no, anything, no no wars going on. So you are a Jersey boy. Well, originally from New York, but now you're Jersey, living in Jersey. I love Jersey. Why did you have to put that caveat? That, that <laughs> why? I was he total disclosure. That's all. just a disclosure. How do you live it now? Sir? Red Bank. Right. Yeah, I live right here. Yeah. Is this your representative here? That's my mom. Yeah, I work, here. Here. I work here. Yeah. at the Calvary. Oh, awesome. yeah. This is my cousin. So. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. You need to get your cousin a little correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get him to move to Jersey. No, so. He will. Yeah. His father's a fireman. Yeah. He has yeah. to live in New York. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the, we, the, don't don't the force of Jersey, the pull. <laughs> it's great. It. It's I feel it, man. And how about you guys? <laughs> oh, we live in Raritan currently. Raritan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some good. Jersey. Good wholesome, wholesome, <laughs> wholesome places and Jersey, wholesome Jersey. salt of the earth, <laughs> Jersey people. So where did you, you talk about the urban fraud? Where, where did you grow up? No, I grew up in the Bronx. In the Bronx. In, right. Excuse me, the Bronx. The wow. Bronx. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pronounce that right. The Otherwise, Bronx. so you are the era. I was a Yankee fan when Chris Chambliss was on first. Chris Chambliss. Yeah. Willie Randolph was on. Yeah, yeah. Second. So, so here's the thing. Thurman Munson. Here's Thomas. yes, yeah. all of, all of the above. So here's yes. the thing. So Yankees have won so many championships. It just so happened that I was at formative age when they had this gap where they didn't win anything. What? There was like a, like a nine year gap. So In all of my childhood years, no championship. But what did you say? Did you stay true? And I was pissed off. Did you stay true and loyal? Yeah, pretty much, okay, pretty good. much. And then they finally uh, come around, was it 1977, 78? Yes. They finally won That's, one. That, which when I was his age. Yeah, so they went 10, 11 years without, without a championship. And, and, and then I, I didn't realize how spoiled I was to complain about 10 years. Because some, some, some team hadn't ever won a championship. No. Or had one since the 1920s. So I, so I felt bad upon realizing that I had taken that for granted. So baseball is a game with a lot of superstition. Yes, it and is. As you as a scientist, do you look down upon the superstitions? Like you don't shave while you're <laughs> on a street? Do you like look at those people yeah. and say you are so a-scientific? I am highly non-superstitious, just okay. as a person. Yes. Do um, you have any superstitions? No, but, well, okay, I will read 
fortune cookies and maybe think they're true sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, no. No, no. <laughs> no, the thing so is... So you don't go to, a, as an astrophysicist, no, you don't go to astrologist. No, definitely not. But, but here, here's what it is. I have to invest energy on occasion to not be superstitious. I feel the human urge. When a black hat rushes for, no, Not so much a black hat, but things like... Um, you know, do you step on the crack in the pavement? Okay. You know, I have to say, that is stupid. I'm just going to step on the damn crack. Right. But, so I have to overcome what I know is a natural urge to be superstitious. So when I see other people being superstitious, I don't, I don't denigrate them. So how do you deal with things like yesterday, Easter, religion? Yesterday. Oh, no. Yesterday. <laughs> I thought you said, how do I deal with yesterday? <laughs> well, it's gone. What do you mean, how am I going to deal with yesterday? <laughs> um, religion, I, I think, is as practiced, I think is best exemplified uh, if you look at, for example, the Reformed Jewish community. Yes. All of the Jewish rituals are, they're, they're community rituals. That's what they are. And they're excuses to come together. You know all other Jews are doing the same thing at right. the same time, if it's a Seder, for example. And that has a bonding force right. for communities. So, I personally, I'm a big fan of rituals. I love rituals. Um, they're, they're, they're one of the things that are truly and fundamentally human. And I don't want to ever forfeit something that distinguishes us from all other life on Earth. And rituals are one of those things. Now, if you perform rituals that compromise your health or the safety or wealth or health of someone else, then that's a problem. Yeah. But other sort of simple rituals, I have no problems with it. So in the majesty of the universe, the complexity, the, 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 the majesty, the, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a profoundly amazing thing, the universe. And yeah, it's, so it's even spiritual, of, I would say. Yes, and yes. so there's a part of you thinking, intelligent design there's some oh i'll tell you why not okay yeah because every now and then an asteroid comes and renders everything extinct uh <laughs> that's that you know and what's going on like between your legs there's this entertainment complex in the middle of a sewage system none of this is intelligent right. <laughs> you can't call that intelligent design that is like stupid design right you just you just look at uh, the, our propensity to disease, to birth defects, to to look at all the ways Earth wants to kill us. Right. Earth has succeeded at that for more than 97% of all life that has ever lived on Earth is now extinct. Right. Because Earth killed it. We talk about, oh, Mother Earth is a, Earth is a killing machine. But volcanoes, hurricanes, storms. So to say, oh, it's intelligent. If, if that's intelligent, I don't know what, who you, who, 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 <laughs> who are you talking about? So, so, if that's intelligent, I want to be stupid. But, right, exactly. So when I look at the universe, you can see the beauty, the glory, the majesty, but don't dust under the rug all that would end your life sooner than what is natural. And there's plenty of that out there. And when you combine the two, uh, it's, I don't know what you're looking at. So I was reading Thomas Merton yesterday. He's okay. a very famous American uh, Catholic uh, um, profound thinker who sees in the supernatural uh -huh. and, and, and seems to say things that are, that are in concert with science, mm -hmm. but he still believes that there's some kind of, there's something bigger and greater than I. And so I, I've heard you talk about humility before. Yeah, before, in the presence of the universe. In the presence of the universe. Yeah. And isn't that sort of a bow, you bowing down to like, um, I'm a finite object, there's no way I can understand the infinite. I will not say that there's no way I can understand it. I will say I haven't understood it yet. Right. And uh, it might take people much smarter than I am, born much later than I have been, to come to that understanding. But the progress of science, since the beginning until now, has been incessant. Right. And that's something, that's one of the great triumphs of that as an enterprise, as a thing that humans have figured out they could do. So, all I'm saying is, if you want to look at the beauty, the grandeur, and the majesty of the universe, I'm not going to stop you. But don't have, don't let that blind you to everything about the universe that is not in the best interest of your health or longevity. And when you combine those two, it looks really random out there. Really? So you just think that this bad stuff is randomly happening? You don't think there's any kind I, the, of... The dinosaurs were pretty unlucky because an asteroid came and took them out. Right. <laughs> right. They didn't have a space program to deflect it. Right. Yeah. That, that was really unlucky. And that asteroid took out 70% of all species of life on Earth when it hit. Right. Nothing bigger than a suitcase survived. And so... That's some bad luck. It is. And so when you look at the current state of politics and you know that that asteroid hit in Mexico, 
<laughs> and you have a president that's sort of anti-Mexico. Uh -huh. Do you, do you, uh, I'm, I'm asking in a roundabout way, do you support the president then? It's <laughs> <laughs> a great time to get to the photos. <laughs> but let me say, well, first of all, when, when, the, when the asteroid hit, uh -huh. um, it wasn't called Mexico. <laughs> just, just, just FYI. So did yeah. I, the last question I want to ask. It hit 65 million years ago. So, the, 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 so yes, I, I've actually read a lot about that. Uh -huh. I, I, I finished a book and I did a book club uh, with the, the Sixth Extinction. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah that's what we're going on now. Yeah. Yeah, which yeah. is which is amazing. Uh -huh. But I guess the, the, so. Is there a futility in it all? Then, then, then why are you so? You're such a major force. In, in in trying to prick human action uh, to, to, to be to being an addiction force, but you seem to think that this is all just a random colliding of atoms and. Well, so I will say that we are smart enough. All we need is the vision added to our smarts to be able to protect ourselves from the fate that the dinosaurs encountered, because we know how to deflect an asteroid. Right. But we have no system in place to do so. So your sense of faith. You, you, you do have faith, and it's faith in humanity's ca capacity. No, I don't always have faith in humanity's <laughs> capacity for anything. I have, I, have, um, I have some expectation that if you have the option to die or not die, you'll choose the option to not die. Once you're presented with the argument that will convince you of that. Right. But not everyone has heard that argument or understands that the solar system is a shooting gallery. And, and do you know Earth plows through 300 tons of meteors yeah. a day, yes. a day and most of them are small so we're cool yeah and they burn up so not a problem it's just a shooting star we're cool yeah but some of those are larger they'll hit the ground others explode in midair and occasionally a big one comes and I don't want to be the laughing stock of intelligent aliens in the galaxy if they learn that we had a space program but did not invoke it to prevent our extinction from an asteroid we knew was coming <laughs> Hey, did you like that? Cool video, huh? Well, how about a bunch of cool videos, all commercial free, plus exclusive original content that you can't find anyplace else, all on StarTalkAllAccess.com.